everybody, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, this is going to be a second video to like a series that I decided to do on my channel. So I wanted to do like recreating or transforming myself into different YouTubers. I'm somebody who watches YouTube religiously, like I'm always on it and I'm super inspired by different YouTuber styles and fashion. And I was like, you know what, why not embrace it and actually try to transform myself into them? It's gonna be so much fun and entertaining for you guys to watch, which is obviously very important. So. For today's video, I'm going to do Desi Perkins. She's beautiful. She's like a bronze goddess. Obviously, I look nothing like her, so this is for fun, but it's going to show you how different makeup steps and how fashion can actually make you kind of have a, like, you're not going to look like them necessarily, but you're going to have like that vibe, you know? So I'm very, very excited about this. I find her beautiful and she's extremely talented. Now, my last video that I did, which was the first video of this little series, was Gabby DiMartino. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I transform myself into her, definitely watch this video, that video after this one. Um, so I don't want to ramble too much, but if you guys are interested in seeing this series and like to continue, please leave me some comments down below letting me know maybe some different YouTubers you'd like me to recreate. I do have some in mind, but I'd love to hear your feedback. And yeah, if you guys are interested in seeing me transform myself into Desi Perkins and just keep watching. Okay, so the first step before doing makeup or anything else is to get the base right. And I feel like I'm really light skinned compared to her. Like I'm quite pale and I need the sun. So, and I always feel like she looks extremely tan and glowy. So what I recommend, if you guys want to do it like instantly and you didn't sell tan the night before, um, I do have some products. So the first product I want to share is from Quick Tan. This is the Bronzing Spray in Medium Dark. I showed this in my last video when I recreated Gabby DiMartino. Um, so yeah, I'm going to just show you guys. It's very easy. You're literally just spraying all the areas that you want to be tanned and it gives you an instant color. So it's amazing for like quickly being bronzed. Okay, I'm going to just take a bag. <laughs> Pardon me because uh, I don't want to like spray my clothes. Okay, this is like really dark and it looks a little crazy. So what you could do, I mean either way it's going to go under makeup, but you can always take a um, round cotton pad here and just kind of dab off the areas that are just a little too crazy. But you guys can see, like I definitely look darker. Also, I just want to mention quickly, if you guys do want to tan the night before, I've been using the Saint Tropez um, Self Tan Classic, and it's basically just like a bronzing face lotion. I just started using it. Like, honestly, it's good because it's not breaking me out, and I find it is giving me like a subtle glow. However, I don't feel like it's giving me like instantly like pale to dark skin in a night type of thing. But I think it's good if you want something gradual, you just use it like, not every night maybe, but like every two nights you would put this on to just give you a little something. So yeah, just wanted to share something that I've been using recently. All right, so now moving on to makeup, you guys will be able to watch me step by step as I go along, I'll fast forward, but you guys will still be able to see every step and I will be listing all the products and such. However, if I feel like we need more explanations, like for the eyes, maybe if she does something specific, I will make sure to stop and kind of give a more thorough explanation. Now I do want some glue, so I will be, before even putting my foundation, just putting like a nice amount of this Cover FX um, Custom Enhancer Drops, and you guys will see it's like really intense and crazy, but when you put your foundation over it, you won't even see it. It'll just give like a glow from within. So for under the eyes, I'm definitely going to go for like a lighter concealer. I'll mix it in because I find that Desi, as bronze as she is and as glowy as she is, she also has a very bright under eye and that's kind of something that I've noticed when she does like a more glam look. So I'm just basically using my L'Oreal um, Infallible Full Wear Concealer in the shade 365 and in the shade 360. So those are going to give me 
that perfect combination. Now I'm trying to make myself as bronze as possible. So I'm putting like a bunch of cream products first and then I'm just going to layer up after with the powders to just accentuate everything. Now for contour, I notice like this is not how I normally contour, but I'm going to try to make it look like her as much as possible. She basically has her contour start like this, and she brings it all the way up, which is not something I normally do, but I will. And from there, she kind of, it almost like meets up with her eyes, which is going to be obviously the next step that we do, but I will just start by doing that. Using the same bronzer shade, I'm going to start dragging that up into um, to meet with my contour and just kind of bring it down like to the crease. And just I've noticed that her makeup goes like above the crease. She does like a cut crease very often. Very neutral shades and bronze tones. So I'm going to do that for sure. For an extra pout, she brings it down her lip. All right, start blending. All right, so let's move on to the eyes. For this part, I will be using my Athena palette from Bad Habit. This was like 15 bucks or something, and it's beautiful. Like, I have a very dedicated, thorough video on Hush, because I got this from Hush with like eight different palettes, a lot of swatches. If you guys are interested in um, buying some new palettes and don't want to break the bank, definitely recommend. Anyways, moving on. I'm going to go in with the Lore shade from the palette. It's a very orangey shade. And I'm basically going to place that with a very fluffy brush. 
around where the crease is and work my way up. I will go with Heroic, which is also pretty orangey, but it's more of a burnt orange. And I will concentrate that more in the outer corners. Now, something I realized, and I mentioned this before, is that it kind of connects like I notice she does that a lot is that she connects her eyeshadow with like the beginning of her contour. Okay, now I will be taking the lighter of the two concealers I used for my face. This is 360 from L'Oreal. And I'm going to be placing it where my lid is. Now this looks a bit messy, but I always fix it up after with powder. So I will be setting this. Now I will go back in with Heroic and cleaning it up. As you guys can see, I'm also bringing in the color um, towards the lid here, just on the outer lid, because I don't want the cut crease to go like all the way out. Now with this concealer in particular, I, I suggest waiting for it to be tacky before starting to make the cut crease, because otherwise it's too like runny, and it was very hard to like make it look clean. I think this was like a little bit easier to do. I'm actually also going to go in with a white shade. This is just from the Huda Beauty palette, so I'm sure if you guys have a less expensive palette, you can use that too, but I, I really want to brighten it up even more. Now, I don't notice, like, she doesn't have, like, crazy wing liner. Like, sometimes she does, and it's, like, really crisp. I'm going to do, like, a bit of a thinner one because I want the lashes to really show through as well as the eyeshadow and I feel like when you make the line too thick it kind of takes away from it. Okay, so for eyelashes, I've seen Desi wear like really dramatic, glamorous lashes, but I've also seen her wear more natural lashes. Um, so for today's video, I mean, by no means does this makeup look natural, but I do want to emphasize more on like the bronzy skin and like the bronzy neutral tones, and I don't want to make it too glamorous, but at the same time still add something. Um, so basically the lashes I'm going to be using are from Ardell, they're the Demi Wispies. And these are really affordable and really like anyone can get their hands on them. So I thought it'd be nice to include them in today's video. I'm going to be focusing them on the outer corners mostly because I cut them a little bit.
These lashes actually look really nice with the makeup look I was going for. So I'm quite happy about that. You should see how far away this mirror is. It's so hard. I'm surprised I got these lashes on as quickly as I did. On to lips. I can't. I don't know why I wait always till the last second to put on my lip products, but it, it needs to be sooner. It is horrible. Okay, so something that Desi does often is she wears more like um, orangey, like a burnt orange like color. I can't even describe what I'm trying to say. Um, but you guys will see. So this is from Kylie Cosmetics. It's called Ginger, but there are millions of lip liners who have that have this undertone. A very affordable one is from BH Cosmetics, and it's the nude color, and it's gorgeous, and it's like $3, and it does the same thing. Um, but I have none left, so I'm going to be using this. Basically, just going to overdraw my lips for sure. She has definitely fuller lips than I do, and then you guys will see what I do for the rest. I noticed that her lip liner is significantly darker than like the, the lipstick that she has on over, so I'm going to be trying this combination, and hopefully it's going to give me a very similar effect. I'm going to start with the... Um, Huda Beauty Day Slayer Cream Lipstick. It's basically like a demi-matte formula. And I'm gonna see if I wanna add anything over. This is actually pretty similar to what she has. <laughs> it's not bad. And it's just one product, so I don't want to complicate everyone's lives. But this actually looks good. It goes nicely with the um, the eyes, and it also gives like a nice amount of like glossiness to it. Okay, so we're not actually done with the face yet. I do want to brighten up this whole region, like where we put the concealer. I'm going to be using my Makeup Revolution baking powder to do this in the shade Banana. Um, I find she has a very bright... It's just like very bronze and then very bright, so I'm going to be doing that. And because I already carved out my brows for, from like the concealer and I have naturally thicker brows, I'm definitely not going to be filling them in because they do look quite defined. I'm just going to be taking my tinted brow gel from Anastasia in the shade Espresso and just kind of setting that into place and just um, filling in the color a little bit more. It definitely does give like a, a thickening effect when you apply tinted brow gel. So I think this is like a really quick, easy way for me to do my brows. Okay, so like one of the last steps here is just highlighter. You guys will see me layering up a few, starting with the Jaclyn Hill one, and I will be listing all the highlighters that I'm putting, but I want this to look as glimmery and glowy as possible. Now one of the last things I like to do, this is from Pixie and it's a glow mist. I actually added, the reason why it's some weird color is because I added some Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in here. And I also added some of my Anastasia Beverly Hills Loose um, Highlight Powder. I'm gonna add a little more of that in there because I want to look like glowy. And I want this to be like a spray. So pardon the color, but I think it's gonna look good. Nice little hack. And then I'm going to spray my face. Feels amazing. It sprays so well and it already is infused with like different oils and stuff. So it's really nice. It gives like a nice natural dew. So this is basically the makeup look completed. I actually really like it. This is definitely like... It's not that it's a lot for me, it's just the placement of the eyeshadow. It's like a little bit different than what I would normally do. But I love the tones. And this really does remind me of her. I feel like she's always very bronzy, very glowy, a lot of neutral tones, nothing too dramatic, but yet there's a statement there. So I feel like I really kind of showcased her style in terms of makeup the best that I can. Obviously, I'm not as good um, 
when it comes to putting on the makeup, but I did my best. So hopefully you guys like it. Um, I actually really do. Let's move on to the hair because I just threw it up in a bun here. Um, I'm gonna wash my hands and then we will discuss the hairstyle. All right guys, so for hair, I just took it down from my bun. I'm brushing it out. I want to do a slick back ponytail because this is something that she does a lot and she really takes her time with it. It looks really, really good. And in the photo that I'm thinking of, like I'm recreating her whole outfit and stuff, uh, her hair was slicked back also and it looked amazing. So I'm really excited. What's also great is that my hair color is actually very similar to hers, I feel. So it's definitely going to add to the effect. Now you guys can definitely add extensions. Um, to mimic her hairstyle depending on how short your hair is or how thin or thick it is but for me my length and my thickness it is actually quite similar to how her hair looked and how it looks quite often when it's up so I don't want to add any more because I want it to look as similar to hers as possible so I will be throwing it up now and I'm brushing up as I go Be ready for your arms to be sore <laughs> because you have to just keep brushing, keep going. Also have gel or hairspray on hand because a lot of times when you want to do a slick back pony, um, you need these things. So I'm going to be using this gel from Matrix. It's the Super Fixer Stronghold Gel. I'm going to be putting a little bit on my finger and just kind of rubbing it in here. I'm also going to be spraying it with hairspray once I'm done brushing everything up. Now with my L'Oreal El Net hairspray, I'm also going to be spraying this. This is really to ensure there are no flyaways. Now I'm pretty happy with this. Now what you guys can do is take a piece of your own hair and wrap it around. I'm actually gonna be taking extensions for this because I don't want to take away any thickness from my actual ponytail. So this is my piece of like it's a Zala extension. It's a one clip and I want to be clipping it to the back. And basically wrapping it around. a few bobby pins now to really make sure there are no bumps. I'm going to be brushing out my ponytail now. Now you guys can definitely style it from here. You can style the ponytail. I feel like this was kind of how her ponytail looked like. It wasn't very curly but it had a bit of a weight to it and I find often that's how her hair is but I mean she all right you guys so I am done with the makeup and I'm done with the hair so finally for outfit I feel like when you're um recreating someone's style it's hard to just take bits and pieces from like different days because their style changes so much um and I mean I have an overall vibe but I find like Desi I've seen her wear like long dresses and florally and curly and then I've seen her wear like joggers really like streetwear then I've seen her wear like denim more like vintage style so her style is changing a lot and it's hard to just take bits and pieces from different pictures so what I decided to do is to find a photo that I find really represents her and that speaks to me and I found one this is it so I'm really excited to be recreating this outfit so stay tuned if you guys want to see the outfit on me and basically the final look okay guys so this is the basic look i actually find it really does look like what she was wearing like i really think that 
I did a good job in terms of the overall style here. So basically starting of course with this set here, the blazer and the matching shorts. This is from Fashion Nova. I will be sure to link um, where I got like the actual item down below so you guys can take a look. I really love this. It's gorgeous. Um, and it's perfect for summer and the matching this top is actually from fashion over too. everything It's so funny. I just find that I always end up resorting back there But it's honestly just because there's really affordable things that are really trendy. So um, this was also from Fashion Nova, came with matching biker shorts, but I'm just wearing the top, of course. Now, for my sneakers, I am wearing Converse, they're just white. And the only thing, oh yeah, this belt I got from AliExpress. Her belt was more like multicolored, um, I didn't have anything like it. However, this is the same style belt, it's just all in one. I find that it actually ties together the look quite nicely. So, also, the only thing that's a bit different is my sunglasses aren't white rimmed. Like, the frame isn't white, it's like a light pink. I mean, I couldn't find white ones. Like, I went specifically for that, couldn't find them, but I know they sell them so much. So, if I had more time, like, had I planned it more, I know they have some on Amazon, so I'll link those for sure. And, yeah, I find that, like, all in all, it really does mimic her style. She was also wearing, like, a white cute purse. I didn't have anything exactly like it, but this is so cute and it's kind of similar-ish. <laughs> Not exactly, but it has the vibe. So I'm really, really happy with this look. And you see, I would have never tried it had it not been for that photo. So this is like a really good example of just like being inspired by different people and trying things sometimes based on what you see when you like it. Would have never picked this out, but I absolutely love it now that I have it. And I'm sure I'll actually wear this outfit. So thank you, Desi. <laughs> um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I am so happy with this video. And I mean, I haven't started editing, so who knows. But I am happy just looking right now at how the overall look came out. If you guys are interested in getting um, more videos like this, as I mentioned, please don't shy away from leaving me some comments down below letting me know um, other YouTubers you would like me to recreate. Or just... Generally, just say hi. I love connecting with you guys like that. So I'm gonna just sit down for a moment. But that is basically the look. I'm really, really happy. And until next time, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, everyone.